The Lord speaks of peace to his people and holy ones and to those who turn to him. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. With your spirit. Good morning. Good morning. Today is the feast day of St. Catherine, and and Mass will be offered for Kathy Holzman. Let us now turn to God our Father as we ask forgiveness for our sins so that we might be better prepared to celebrate the mysteries of our faith. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Stir up the will of your faithful, we pray, O Lord, that striving more eagerly to bring your divine work to fruitful completion, they may receive in greater measure the healing remedies your kindness bestows. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, saw in heaven another sign, great and awe-inspiring, seven angels with the seven last plagues, for through them God's fury is accomplished. Then I saw something like a sea of glass mingled with fire. On the sea of glass were standing those who had won the victory over the beast, and its image and the number that signified its name. They were holding God's harps, and they sang the song of Moses, the servant of God, and the song of the Lamb. Great and wonderful are your works, Lord God Almighty. Just and true are your ways, O King of the nations. Who will not fear you, Lord, or glorify your name? For you alone are holy. All the nations will come and worship before you for your righteous acts have been revealed. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Great and wonderful are all your works, Lord, mighty God. Great, Great and, and wonderful, wonderful are all, all your, your works, works Lord, Lord, mighty, mighty God. God. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for him, his holy arm. Great, Great and, and wonderful, wonderful are all, all your, your works, 
Lord, Lord mighty, mighty God. God. The Lord has made his salvation known in the sight of the nations. He has revealed his justice. He has remembered his kindness and his faithfulness toward the house of Israel. Great, Great and, and wonderful, wonderful are, are all, all your works, works Lord, Lord mighty, mighty God. God. Let the sea and what fills it resound, the world and those who dwell in it. Let the rivers clap their hands. The mountains shout with joy. Great, Great and, and wonderful, wonderful are all your works, works Lord, Lord mighty, mighty God. God. Before the Lord, for he comes, for he comes to rule the earth, he will rule the world with justice and the peoples with equity. Great, Great and, and wonderful, wonderful are all, are all your, your works, works, Lord, Lord mighty, mighty God. God. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Remain faithful until death, and I will give you the crown of life. Alleluia, Alleluia. Holy Spirit, be in your mind and your lips and in your heart so that you may worthily and in a fitting manner proclaim his holy gospel. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the crowd, They will seize you and persecute you. They will hand you over to the synagogues and to prisons. And they will have you led before kings and governors because of my name. It will, lead you to, it will lead you to give in testimony. Remember, you are not to prepare your defense beforehand, for I myself shall give you wisdom in speaking, that all your adversaries will be powerless to resist or refute. You will even be handed over by parents, brothers, relatives, and friends and they will put some of you to death. You will be hated by all because of my name, but not a hair of your head will be destroyed. By your perseverance, you will secure your lives. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. During these past few weeks, our readings have been centered on that final date that we will have with the Lord one day. Our uh, transition from life here to life eternal with God. And we've seen uh, in some of the readings uh, what is expected of us, uh, how we are to uh, interact and how we are to live with each other and where we are to put and place God in our lives. Uh, in uh, today's gospel reading, um, when we read it, uh, it's not a very inviting gospel. It describes for us uh, many, many challenges in life and brings to our attention and to our awareness that uh, may at times be uh, impossible and difficult to find support either in friends or in family because of what we believe in. Uh, during this week we have celebrated the feast of Saint Clement and also the Vietnamese martyrs 
and today we celebrate uh, St. Catherine of Alexandria. All our martyrs, all uh, choose to give up their lives for the faith. And uh, that, I, I don't have any uh, doubt, was something that they had decided on long before that moment came when they were called upon to give up their life as martyrs. It was as a result of uh, practicing their faith and endurance and constancy and faithfulness. Mother or Saint uh, Teresa of Calcutta, Mother Teresa, uh, once, once was asked what was the most important part of her relationship with God, and that was uh, to be at all times faithful, even in times of doubt, of difficulty, of uh, maybe having a faith that was like dry bones, as described in the Old Testament. Uh, Mother Teresa said faithfulness was the most important thing. And uh, that builds up what is most important in our lives, and that is our inner strength. Uh, assent to our faith with an exterior expression of it uh, doesn't always mean that we have that conviction within. Uh, we do that maybe just to join the opinions of others, or we do it because uh, it's part of our culture or part of our heritage. But to have that conviction of faith that comes from within our spirit and our soul is what St. Luke is speaking about in today's Gospel reading. And he reminds us uh, that we will have that support of God, uh, that Jesus will give us what to say, uh, give us that important word of wisdom that expresses the deep faith we have, the conviction, and the desire to hold on to the beliefs that we espouse. In this world, I, that type of conviction is called upon, and uh, to have it fearlessly, it's important that it comes from within, comes from our hearts, comes from the formation of our conscience, and comes with a great desire to be faithful to God always. Trusting in the love of our merciful Father, let us lay our petitions before him. For all members of the Church, may the Lord strengthen us, stewards of the faith we share. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For, for policymakers, may God give them fortitude in their efforts to defend the dignity of life at all stages. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our Lord. prayer. <clears throat> for those struggling with illness, or personal afflictions. May Jesus be their strength. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us gathered here today, may God bless us with the grace to be his servants in the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For all faith communities that are challenged by not being able to meet together to pray and worship, they will grow stronger in faith and more gracious and merciful in living. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the faithful departed, may they find rest in Jesus' arms. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
We pray also for the intention of this Mass, for the repose of the soul of Kathy Holzman, for our own family members, our friends, those who have died recently, and all who are called suddenly from this life each day. And I remember, especially today, the first anniversary of my friend Imelda Wallace, and may she rest in peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty ever-living God, who gave St. Catherine of Alexandria to your people as a virgin and an invincible martyr, grant that through her intercession we may be strengthened in faith and constancy and spend ourselves without reserve for the unity of the Church through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Accept, O Lord, the sacred offerings which at your bidding we dedicate to your name, and in order that through these gifts we may become worthy of your love, Grant us unfailing obedience to your commands through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in goodness you created man, and when he was justly condemned in mercy, you redeemed him through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more, giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Gustavo and Michael our bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Mark the Evangelist, Saint Catherine of Alexandria, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Kingdom, power, and glory, and peace, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. With your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Peace be with you, with Raymond. Lamb of God, you take, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Behold, I am with you always, even to the end of the age, says the Lord. Let us pray. We pray, Almighty God, that those to whom you give the joy of participating in divine mysteries may never be parted from you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Dear people, uh, today is Wednesday and tomorrow is Thursday, the Feast of Thanksgiving. We celebrate Thanksgiving. And Mass will be at 9 a.m. here at St. Mark's tomorrow morning. Uh, we invite all of you who are present here at this time uh, to join us for that Mass. And we also invite those who are watching us on live stream to please join us as well and uh, to let their family and their friends know that we will be on live stream tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. celebrating Thanksgiving. We look forward to you joining with us at that time. Let us now pray together our prayer to Our Lady of Guadalupe. Our Lady of Guadalupe, in these times of tribulation, we turn to you, O Mother. See with compassion the suffering of your beloved sons and daughters affected by the coronavirus pandemic throughout the entire world. Ask your Son to have mercy on us, bringing healing to those infected and protection to all your children. Jesus Christ, Savior of all people, Grant us courage to accompany and care for the entire world in the wake of sorrow and uncertainty. We seek refuge in you, and according to your promise, deliver us from this danger. Amen. Saint Anthony of Padua, pray for us. Saint Mark the Evangelist, pray for us. Saint Catherine of Alexandria, pray for us. Our Lady of Guadalupe, pray for us. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. You.